Not adjusting for inflation, Indiana is at a record high. The price uh, in Indianapolis today, 4.38 a gallon. It's never been higher. If you need to find the cheapest gas around, we have a QR code on the screen. Scan it with your phone and it will take you to a map of the cheapest gas powered by Gas Buddy. And while the average price of a barrel has gone down, gas prices keep going up. But why? WRTV's Meredith Hackler finds out and explains how you can stretch your tank of gas a little farther. Countries across the globe are continuing to sanction oil from Russia due to its invasion of Ukraine. Now, the European Union has been discussing doing the same thing. And what's becoming very much a likely outcome that the European Union, which gets four and a half million barrels a day from Russia, is going to cut Russia off. And if they do, Russia is one of the world's largest oil producers. There's nowhere else. There, there's no other country that has four and a half million barrels a day laying around. Another reason people are seeing higher gas prices is because refineries aren't producing as much, all due to the time of year. Uh, demand is very high. Refining capacity, well, they're in the middle of, of maintenance season before the summer. And so they're not able to produce as much gasoline. And so gasoline inventories have actually been declining in the last few weeks. And that's part of the reason why there's been that disconnect. That's one reason gas prices have stayed high, even though the price of oil per barrel has dropped. But there is another reason consumers are paying more. Taxes have gone up, and Hoosiers know that, right? In fact, gas taxes just went up last month again. So you have to look at how taxes have increased over time as well to explain why that relationship changes over time. So you might be wondering, when will we see some relief? According to the experts, it could be a while. We're not going to get back to the twos and maybe even the threes, the low threes, um, until either supply increases or demand decreases. And supply is not going to increase until countries end their sanctions on Russia. That's why AAA says there are some things you can do in the meantime, and it starts by slowing down. Um, use cruise control, maintain that constant speed. That's another thing we really recommend for people. Um, in addition, you know, when you go out, make a good plan about what you're going to do. Combine errands. Working for you, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Well, AAA also recommends not letting your car idle for long periods of time. That can cost a lot of gas. It also recommends keeping your car well maintained. This can increase your fuel economy.